At a time when independence from Great Britain was not universally desired, nor a democracy envisioned by the common man in the American colonies, Thomas Paine anonymously published a pamphlet that would catapult the American colonists toward revolution and an independent democratic republic. Even staunch critics like John Adams would come around to the understanding that, quote, without the pen of the author of Common Sense, the sword of Washington would have been raised in vain, end quote. Common Sense was a brilliantly crafted argument directed to the common man. It left readers and listeners who heard it read in taverns and public places across the colonies, persuaded and enlisted to the cause of throwing off the yoke of monarchy and boldly venturing into the uncharted waters of a new governance. Common Sense remains to this day the most widely circulated book as a percentage of the population in American history. Despite its enormous popularity, Payne did not profit monetarily from it. In the composition, his left hand presents the pamphlet to an unseen person, perhaps a publisher. Meanwhile, his right hand, extended in a gesture of giving, suggests the generosity of his intent to inform and inspire rather than to seek profit or fame.